My dear ones, may the angels of God watch over and protect you, and may the sweetness of our Savior bring you joy. Four days ago, I was on the precipice of despair. Old wounds had been ripped open. Communication was agonizing and inflammatory at best. It seemed that I couldn't do anything right. Accusations flew through the air and painful memories from 20 years ago came from a deep place in my heart. I was crumbling under this attack and had nowhere to turn. We were dealing with a soul who needed to move on to the next place the Lord had prepared for them, but Ezekiel and I kept getting sideways so we could not understand each other. He would say one thing, I would hear another, and vice versa. This lasted for a good three days, and I was beginning to lose hope in all that God was doing. It was so dark and so unexpected, but deeply threatening. Then I heard the Lord's voice, Do you trust me? In this moment, Lord, I'm so afraid of losing everything, I don't know what to say. He replied, I have made you promises I will not go back on. He said this as he fingered my wedding ring. Lord, I'm broken inside and on the verge of tears 24-7. Please help us. Please help me. Have you taken away my protection because of sin? Jesus replied, how do I answer that? With the truth? There are many reasons for this right now, and it is good for you to look at all avenues that might be guilt. But in the main, this is a fiery trial you must endure, and I am with you, Claire. You will not be put to shame. What is happening now is the result of many accumulated errors, things I have not been able to communicate to you. I have tried, but they are beyond you. And as far as this soul in question goes, I do not want them here now. Will you please take firm hold of my hand as you walk across these hot coals? I will not abandon you, only lean on me significantly harder, and I will set your path straight. Okay? Okay, Lord. Now do what you must do. And namely, it was the unpleasant task of making arrangements for a soul to move on to another destination. Then Jesus began, My people, when trials become so intense that you feel you're standing on an icy precipice and total destruction looms beneath your feet, cleave to me with greater resolve. This act alone will prepare your heart to receive instruction, and I will guide you in ways you do not even as yet understand. Satan has taken many of you to the very edge of destruction, and you stand to lose much, but do not fear. I am there with you, and I will not let you fall into the hands of your enemy if you are listening very carefully to my instructions and refuse to do anything by your own opinion or strength of mind. Don't run from me. Run to me in strength of mind knowing that I will never give you over to the will of your enemies completely. You may suffer loss, but never all that you fear, as long as you cleave to me. And I know how very hard that is at this moment in time. I know your expectations and efforts to be holy. I know what I have provided for your escape route, so be sure to cling to me above all else. Satan has launched a strong frontal attack on many of you, and your only hope is in complete trust and abandonment to my will. Some will flake out, and others will come. There is a constant turnover in any community until the right fit is found. This can be a joyful occasion for those who are truly called, but you must know yourself fully, deeply, with honor and integrity. You must. So here we are in a very precipitous situation, threatening your demise, but you must keep careful watch over your spirits and not give in to despair. I am here for you, and I will guide you away from this slippery slope 
as you turn your complete attention to my will and trust me with all your hearts. I shall never allow you to be tested beyond your strength. I bless you now with confidence in my love and vigilance over your souls.